Okay guys, well this is my 118th Rampage Monster Truck Review. It's also the video to post a comment on if you want to be in for a chance of winning the 10,000 subscriber prize, which is the hosting Monster Truck Car I reviewed the other week. Uh, apologies for my slight confusion the other day. Um, I didn't realise that everybody didn't have that post button and couldn't share the uh, the relevant video in the way that I wanted to. Uh, my error for not checking that everybody had that option. So. Uh, be one of the first 30 to comment on this video and share this video and please tell me where you've shared it uh, in the comment section below the video. Anyway, let me get on with the Rampage RC Monster Truck review. This is the uh, Rampage Monster Truck. It's a 118 scale four wheel drive buggy, uh, splash proof as opposed to waterproof, 380 can motor, four wheel drive, fully independent suspension all round but it comes completely with bearings all round as well, which is always a good indicator in my book. Completely ready to run. We've got 2S LiPo, uh, 650 milliamps on there. Now my experience, those things can last from between 12 to 15 minutes on as these buggies tend to be quite lightweight. Price point, yours for just under 70 bucks. There's a link to it below the video. Now, why do I keep testing these? Because not everybody has a Traxxas e-revote budget to start out with, and a lot of people forget that. Some people don't have the two or three hundred bucks required even for some of the lower end Traxxas cars. You need to bear that in mind, guys. We all need to start somewhere. Anyway, this thing, as I say, fully independent suspension all round, four wheel drive. It will do, it says, 30 miles an hour on the hours in sight. However, somebody else had commented, it just says 30 kilometers an hour on the box, and indeed it does. Now, I also contacted the manufacturer just to query that speed, and they said, yeah, it's more likely going to be between 18 to 20 miles an hour, Richie. So there we go, I knew from the outset, this one is in that kind of range. What I would say though, is you need to bear in mind Traxxas cars, like two, 300 buck ones, 30 miles an hour, plus that's with the optional gear fitted. Straight out of the box, a lot of people will be stunned to realize that a lot of Traxxas cars only do between 21 and 23 miles an hour in the tests that we've carried out. They only got 30 miles an hour plus with the optional gear in. So if this does 18 to 20, I should be quite happy with that. So let me get the Rampage Monster Truck by High Boxing open. And I would say, if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe. So what do we get for our money? Well, first of all, we get our 118 scale uh, Rampage Monster Truck in here, uh, complete with 2.4 gigahertz radio, which means nothing's gonna interfere with it, like a CB radio, etc. English instruction manual and a USB charger. This is becoming more and more commonplace uh, with these buggies. I'm actually liking them more and more. It's a bit skeptical to start with. USB charger though, you can plug the thing in anywhere to charge, even in your own automobile. Anyway, let's see what we get in the box now. In comedy style, some of my regular viewers will know, typically I open these things upside down. I think in this case though, we should be okay. And, oh, did a big reveal the other way, because I can see it's going to come out this side. Okay, just have a check in the books, what have we got in there? We've got our instruction manual, and we looks we've got a few stickers as well. Come back to the stickers in a minute. Okay, our instruction manual, what have we got on there? Okay, the body comes complete with body film on air, so that's the first thing I should do is remove the body. You've got a body decal sheet provided in the box, which is those where you can go and put on the headlights, the grill, etc. So I might do that before I start out. Okay, talks you through the different aspects of the car, where the servo is, ESC, etc. on here. Getting familiar with the radio control. First thing that we saw there, you can reverse the uh, steering, which is uh, always a good sign that the transmitter's got good features on it. Looking through, is it hobby grade? This is the key thing to look out for when buying any of these cheaper cars. Is it hobby grade? You've got all the parts listed by part number on here. Everything you need on the car can be replaced, which is always a great sign, even if you've got to go and order those online. Okay, card saying, if you've got any problems, contact the service department directly. Okay, before I get onto the truck, I'm quickly gonna uh, get the transmitter out there. Typically, they're stored in the bottom. Okay, well, I've just cut through the uh, underside of the box. Yes, and underneath here, we're gonna have our transmitter. Okay. Quick, quickly cutting that open, we've got our USB charger on there, nice, lightweight and compact. Our transmitter. Now, I suspect the only thing that doesn't come with ready to run is some batteries, but that's not uh, too much of a problem. Okay, batteries, I'm gonna slide in that compartment underneath. Reasonably sturdy feel to it, it's quite lightweight, but uh, only fairly basic at this price point. Okay, we'll look to have got steering trim on there, off and on. Steering left, right, 
throttle braking away the transmitter looks up to the job so without more ado let's have a look at the rampage monster truck okay well here we have the uh, rampage 118 scale monster truck first impressions that's not too bad there's a hint of the monster energy logo uh, in there definitely or is that just me there guys i'm going to peel the film off in just one second anyway i'm going to set the camera off the tripod next so we can have a close-up look at the car but first of all going to peel that film off quickly and put the body stickers on i would also just say comes complete with two warning stickers on it caution avoid the motor when it's hot and make sure the battery is fully charged before use fairly obvious ones though well there we go there's the body shell i've uh, popped the stickers on it is not bad at all actually for something so small it's an election shell so you're not going to cause uh, any damage to it but quite neat looking nonetheless okay we'll start at the uh, front here and we'll do a suspension test in just a minute just going to pan from front to back for a minute okay your side view these tyres are looking quite grippy actually Something often lets down these cheaper buggies is the tyres. That is not a bad looking mini monster truck to my mind. So let's have a look under the skin, see just what we get for our money. Okay. Now we've got our servo just down here, battery obviously, a motor here with 380 can motor uh, with heat sink on there and integrated uh, receiver and ESC. Now the one thing I wouldn't notice on here that you've just been playing around with is these little um, body stuffers on it are foam and they just come off. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of super glue on those as they keep falling off uh, and falling on the floor. Only minor criticism on there. As I said, four wheel drive. Just zoom down into the suspension there. So they were mainly plastic at uh, this price point. Uh, we've got quite a nice front impact bumper on there. Ooh, that's quite rigid. That's very rigid actually. These side bits have got a little bit of give, but that front has not got any virtually any give on there at all. Slightly surprising uh, on there, but it does have a front bumper nonetheless. Okay, just scanning back along the car to the rear end. And uh, we got, as I said, we've got bearings fitted to this all round. Four wheel drive, we've got metal drive shafts on there. to the rear end there. Okay, so we put it on a bench to do a quick suspension test. Before we do that now, let's have a quick scan down the rear of the car. It does look quite well made, I have to say. And the plastic has a, a feel of a tough plastic rather than a cheap plastic, if uh, you guys know what I mean out there. Okay, the ubiquitous suspension test. My initial thought is, that's gonna jump quite well. That's quite nicely sprung. And suspension travel there, we've got about, I would say, an inch before the front wheel lifts off. We've got about an inch of travel on there. This is on the rear. As I say, quite well uh, balanced. Check the front out. Oh, now the front is not quite, so it's, it's a little bit more damped. Uh, than the rear is. Slightly surprising, but there we go. Okay, amount of travel we've got before that rear wheel just begins to lift. About the same, we've got about an inch of clearance all round. Kind of to be expected on here, but uh, not bad nonetheless. Quick drop test. Well, my first impressions are it's not bad, and for one thing, it is incredibly lightweight. It, I would say that always, I don't know maybe three quarters of a pound, half a pound to three quarters of a pound in weight. I'm very, very lightweight, so I couldn't, uh, my th thoughts on the battery lasting 12, 15 minutes could well uh, prove to be true. I suspect it's gonna be quite zippy uh, as well with that 2S pack carrying, uh, pushing this little weight. Yet yeah, at the same time, this plastic base plate feels very, very sturdy indeed. Uh, maybe would have liked to see a little bit more of a shock absorbing impact bumper at the front. Uh, yes, I probably would, but then the thing has got so little weight in it, it's not maybe gonna actually be carrying too much momentum if it hits anything if that makes sense guys so there we have it guys that's my 118th rampage uh, monster truck review i am going to uh, get that battery charged up and do a full runtime test outside i'll put gps on it later this week and see just what speed we get out of it but i have a feeling it's going to be quite lightweight and zippy anyway guys 
please as ever let me know your thoughts in the comment section below the video and if you're not already a subscriber then please consider subscribing for many more great RC videos to come this summer we hope you liked this video if you did please click on the circle image to subscribe and if you hit subscribe then don't forget to hit that little notifications bell next to it